OK, quick Monday morning radar update. So we've got all markets have uh, punched through the highs this morning. FTSE 100 just back into the range. 250 just basically at the range. And the, the small caps just coming into the range a little bit as the DAX heads towards its pivot. Quick look in the metal stocks, see what's what's moving in there. Copper obviously turning up and uh, it, it could base out here and uh, go sideways a bit, but we will see. The future will tell us that. Some volatility in Bitcoin I hear. Don't really see that much. Moving on. A dollar bull expecting to open slightly weaker again. I'll just bring up uh, cable. So we've been talking about cable in this sort of mean trend area and uh, it's trying to tick up from there. So, and we also, uh, let's just go back to, I can steer my mouse, the battery's running out. And we also had the same view on, on gold being in this sort of swing kicker from a very normal area. And uh, if you want to, if you want to sort of um, have a look at uh, the gold miners in the US, the market vectors gold miners, you know, an extremely normal area, previous resistance becomes support. So logical place to find a little bit of um, action in, in the gold stocks. Are we seeing any gold stocks? A smattering of gold stocks, not seeing that much. Uh, the way it usually works with the gold stocks is the market makes a punch higher, the gold stocks just go with it, and then they sort of set up. It's usually, you know, a mid-move sort of um, low-risk entry on, on the gold stocks. Not interested myself into the volume leaders today. So... It is 10.31. We should have traded 29% to be on average volume today. That would be 44% to be on conviction. I will put 29% in. The large caps actually have a little bit of action today. Um, REITs having a, having a run. Construction is in there. I'm going to jump straight over to the small caps and keep it short today. Because the sun is beating down outside and I'm going to go and uh, make the most of it. 29% to be on average volume. Now let's have a quick tear through the uh, small caps. Industrial metals, oil and gas, there's a few of those in there as well. A few farmer. So as always, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, low, looking for my personal low risk entries, breakouts, pullbacks, and I'm looking at my personal um, metrics I like to trade towards, growth, but you can't see that page. <laughs> so, year on year, quarter on quarter, this is a lose, slightly more scenario, chemicals, construction. These stocks are having a rip, aren't they? No forward on that. Forward numbers, potential right side of a base. Um, this one's already busted out of that little base. And there's a big loose base on it as well. Argo. This one here is trading towards a huge tick up in turnover. And there's really not much else to see it if you look, look at the numbers. So what I'll just show you here is where the, where we find reward to risk, you know, meaningful sort of breakouts. And uh, though though some of these look wide and loose, you can look at the percent gain, what, what moved out of those, that they all hit my screen. Whether you take them or not is a personal sort of thing, but they all hit the screen. It's about having a methodology what just picks these up in a simple way and not 
platting spaghetti. Um, CLG continues. A huge tick up in the forward numbers on this. It's a bit of a sloth for, for a, a mining stock, though in our world it was strikingly obvious as being an interesting one. Uh, second to the one we we took, JLP. JLP had the, had the sort of um, benefit of being, you know, real good beta type sort of stock. XPD continues, simple lines in the sand. JIM continues, simple lines in the sand. Was number one in the GTRS before it went through those results as well. And uh, the market kind of believed it, but it's starting to trend strongly now. Trade the signal, not the move. At CER, so obviously another one what we've been riding for for quite some time. Um, it, it was one of the focus ones in last March in the small cap area and from this zone. I actually picked it up here because I, I was swing swing trading US stocks mainly in that coming out of March, but um, you know I started building trends around this phase, June, 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 end of mid, mid June, maybe July, August started building the growth stocks, trends in growth stocks. That's when they start, started emerging after the first sort of reaction there. D4, T4, this one is a tick down in its forward numbers. It doesn't trade towards what I, I like to see. So I haven't taken it, but you know, lines in the sand. Anything can trend. Can trend on other reasons than what I what I like to trade. Um, but trends will all have the same kind of structure. Good trends, high lows, high highs. So nothing jumping out at me there. We'll see what the end of the day screens bring. Uh, new new portfolio all time high again today. Some fantastic sort of movers out there. I, I think uh, between us at trading bases, we're probably probably in all the good runners at the moment because uh, they've all been repeatedly hitting the screens. What a fantastic market we we're, we're still in, and um, we'll see what the end of day screens bring. Okay.